Welcome to the Ridgeline Fitness Podcast number six. Thanks for listening. Back extensions on the Swiss ball complement crunches perfectly. Advantages over more conventional equipment include increased activation of the intersegmental stabilizers of your spine and core muscles in general. While high resistance is possible, the focus is on dynamic flexion and extension. Exercises like the deadlift that utilize a static lumbar lordotic lifting posture are more suited to maximum tension targeting the long erectors of your spine. Generally, I suggest two or three sets of four to six reps with good form, not to muscle failure, two to five times per week with your other core exercises. Don't do back extensions on the same day with heavy squats or deadlifts. I use a wall to anchor my feet when performing back extensions over the ball in order to create more resistance and involve the hamstrings and glutes. Position the ball under your pelvis with your feet hip width apart against the wall. Flex forward, wrapping your torso around the ball. Arms out to your sides, palms down. Inhale up, extending your spine into alignment. Exhale back down around the ball. Again, extend up, flex back down, staying in control. Keep the tempo fairly slow at first. Flex your quads, glutes, and hamstrings at the top of each rep. Raise your torso just into alignment with your lower body. It's unnecessary to completely hyperextend your lumbar spine. Movement is up and down. Avoid side bending and twisting. Lift your belly up and slightly tuck your tailbone under, engaging your deep abdominals. Hold your head and neck in alignment and keep your chest open. Deliberately flex and wrap your spine down around the ball, then powerfully extend back up into alignment. Place your feet closer together or lift one foot off the wall to challenge your balance and let stability become the limiting factor rather than resistance. Reach your arms out or overhead for more resistance and or hold a weight. You can also increase the resistance by moving the ball in under your upper thighs. Follow the appropriate progression when doing back extensions on the ball. Within this relatively simple pattern exist a large range of difficulty. A few sloppy reps until you feel the burn is no substitute for precise training. Form follows function. To look strong, be strong. I'm Adam Ford. See my DVDs and website for more information. Have fun and enjoy your results.